Hi everyone, welcome to video log number four. Today we're going to talk about tools, specifically non-electrified tools. So I'm going to talk about hair clips, combs, brushes, um, the different kinds in each category they are, uh, what they're used for, what they're made of, um, how to use them, and how to take care of them. Um, so I got my trusty model Yvonne here again, once again to help me. Her hair is still holding up pretty well from the last video we did. Not too bad for being shoved in a closet for a week. Um, so first thing we're going to talk about is hair clips. Um, why do we need to use hair clips? Well, if you have long hair like Yvonne, anything kind of to the neck, to the top of the shoulder and lower, you're going to need hair clips to help style your hair. Because um, you can't just dry it all in one bunch and, hair, and flat iron it all in one bunch and do all that stuff. You need to separate the hair into sections and that's where hair clips can come in handy. So there's a few different types you can get out there. Um, there's a traditional, just straightforward, plain plastic hair clip. Um, these are okay. They don't hold a lot of hair in one clip. They tend to not be good for people with thick curly hair and things like that. They're good for finer straight hair like like uh, Yvonne here. Um, then you've got uh, the alligator style clips, which is again more of a plastic clip, so it's not super sturdy, but it does work. Um, you see it's got this extra hinge here that will bite down over thicker sections of hair and hold up a lot of hair in one piece, which again is great for people with really long, thick, coarse, curly hair. Then you've got, again, the a metal style clip, which again can hold a lot of hair in one clip as well. Um, it has a very high tension spring on it. These ones tend to last a very long time because they are metal. They don't break as easily as the plastic ones do, okay? So on hand, I would say that you probably want anywhere from four to six clips in your toolbox at home. Um, just because the, the more the better. Uh, the more sectioning you can do to, to help to get the top sections out of the way to work on the bottom sections as you style your hair and build your hairstyle, the better. Um, next thing we're gonna do is talk about combs. Um, there's a few different combs you may want to have, again, in your box at home, too. Um, I've, brought, I've got three here to look at. Uh, this is a tail comb. Um, pretty much anyone who's ever been to a hair salon or has a grand grandmother or anything like that knows what these are. Um, it's got a nice pointy long end on it. Great for helping move hair out of the way and, get, and, and section the hair. Great for if you're taking sections of hair to curl or flat iron. You can take them any direction you want as well. They work really well for getting the hair out of the way so you can curl it, wave it, straighten it, do whatever you want. Next is just a straight flat comb. This is really good for working on sections when you're flat ironing. You can actually hold the section in your, in your comb, take your flat iron, put it behind it, and run down like that. Good for men's hair, good for shorter kids' hair, shorter women's hair as well. And then there's your large wide tooth comb which is really great for in the shower if you have long hair. After you put your conditioner in, you can comb through your hair, comb that conditioner through. It's gonna help prevent tangles and frizziness and all that fun stuff that people with long hair tend to end up with. Um, next on the list is brushes. Uh, again, there's so many different types and styles and makes and brands of brushes out there. It's hard to weed through all of them. So again, I'm gonna help hopefully give you a little more information and clarify a few things for you today. First one I'm going to talk about is a classic Denman brush. Um, there's no ventilation on this. It's a skinny brush with kind of a, if you, I don't know if you can see that, kind of a, a fan type of design with the bristles. These brushes are fantastic for a few things. They're really good for short hair. They're good for men's hair. If, if you're a guy who has a style that, that he does need to blow dry, this is the brush for you. It allows for it allows for lifting of the root so you can get the blow dry, the blow dryer into, into it, the hot air into it, and to help move the hair around and get into that style if you're styling it off your face, like a lot of the men's hair, modern hairstyles are these days, um, this works really well. Um, this is great for women at home with really long hair that want to get some volume. Put your volumizing product in at the root, take your Denman brush, lift up the root, hit the root with the hot air from the blow dryer, do that all around the head, you're going to have a nice, nice body, nice volume in the roots of your hair. Uh, second one, this is a just a basic styling brush. It is a paddle style brush, but this one's a little bit different. This one has a mixture of synthetic plastic bristles as well as bore bristles mixed in the bottom. Um, <clears throat> the synthetic bristles are great for helping 
to grab onto the hair. The boar bristle is really nice because it's got a great grip to it and, it'll, and it's very thick and very dense and it'll just, it'll pull that hair through, stretch it out and give it a nice smoothness to it. So again, this is really good for adding a little bit extra smoothness to the hair. Grab it at the bottom of your section, pull it through with your blow dryer on top. This is really good for helping straighten out coarse hair, um, curly hair as well. This is more your traditional styling or paddle brush, I should say, sorry. Large surface area, um, cushioned here as well. So it's, this is great for dry brushing long hair. If you have hair beyond shoulder, shorter length and beyond, you should be dry brushing your hair every single day. The old adage, 100, 100 strokes before bed with your brush, this helps get out that dead fall any hair that's kind of come out during the day that's stuck in there that needs to come out, it, help, it helps spread the natural oils from your scalp down the shaft of your hair, keeping it as healthy as possible and helping prevent split ends. Next, we're going to move on to round brushes. Now, round brushes are the bane of a lot of people's existence. <laughs> I, hear, I hear people in my chair all the time say, Tim, I don't know how to work my round brush. It's so hard. Yes, it is. It's really hard to do it on yourself at home. It's really easy for us as hairdressers to do it on you guys because we can move around your head and stand around you in the proper position to do it. So I feel your pain. I know it's difficult. But if you have the type of hairstyle where a round brush is needed, I'm gonna show you which one to use and basically what it does. So there's two types of round brushes. There are ones that are ceramic coated on the barrel and have synthetic bristles. And there are the traditional boar bristle brushes, okay? The difference, the main difference being the boar bristle is fantastic for thick, coarse hair that likes to have, that likes to be smoothed out. These, again, these grab onto the hair very nicely. Um, they have a lot of, they have, they, but they still get some good slip to them. So they give enough tension on the hair to add that smoothness to it without tangling and without grabbing and too hard, that kind of stuff. The ceramic barrel brushes are, are really great because the ceramic coating on them conducts heat and cool temperature from your blow dryer very, very quickly. Um, so the best part, best thing to do if you're going to be helping, if you're going to be drying your hair from a damp state with these, you want to take your blow dryer and blow the hot air all around the brush first of all and heat it up, get it nice and hot. So when you take that section, that first section, and you put your brush underneath like that, you're already getting the heat radiating off the barrel of the brush to the underside of the section. Then you've got the dryer heat from the top. As you pull it down, you're getting kind of a double whammy for your, for your buck there, okay? So they all come in different sizes. Um, the ceramic barrels come in nice small diameter for shorter hair, um, medium diameter for medium to longer hair, and a really huge diameter for really long hair. This is one of my favorites. I love this one. Um, same with the boar bristle ones. They all come in the same diameter size as small medium and large for your different lengths of hair. Okay, now taking care of your brushes because they're going to get dirty. They are going to get um, product build up on them. They're going to get hair stuck in them. And like anything, if over time, if you don't take care of it, the performance of them wanes and you're just going to have to throw it in the garbage. Well, the best things to do is keep them clean, as clean as you possibly can. Um, you can buy special little cleaning brushes like this at places like Chatters and Sally's and things like that. Um, they've got special stiff bristles here and a little kind of fork on the end where you can go through, you can dig out that hair, you can clean out all that excess product that's on there. If there still is product buildup on your brushes, the um, best thing to do is just wash them in the sink with warm soapy water. Not too hot because the heat because a lot of the a lot of the uh, parts of the brush are held together by, by glue, and if you do it with too hot of water, the glue will start to disengage over time. Your handles will fall apart. Um, the tops of the tops of them will come off. Things like that. Um, so just take nice warm soapy water, dip the barrel and the bristles into the water. Run your hands through it, shake it out. Put it on the, on the counter to dry, or you can take your blow dryer and you can force the water out, force moisture out and dry them as well. Same with your combs, warm soapy water, best way to clean them. Um, other than that, that's it. 
Um, if you guys have any questions about anything that I talked about here, if I haven't uh, gone deep enough or if you'd like to know any more information, um, leave some questions down below in the comments or you can uh, put some questions on my Facebook page as well. And uh, remember to like and subscribe to this page. And next week we're going to talk about power tools. And uh, we'll see you then. Bye-bye.